Hello and welcome back to Hot Take here on No Bullshit, where we review the latest movies and give you our hot take on them. Today's topic is Action Point, starring Johnny Knoxville. This retro, action-packed slapstick comedy kind of took me by surprise this year. I really didn't see a new movie from Johnny Knoxville coming, but now that it's here, it's definitely a welcome surprise. But let's see if it holds up to his other classic comedies like Jackass and Dukes of Hazard. We're going to see how it stacks up today on Hot Take. In short, Action Point is really a fun movie to watch. For sure worth checking out if you're a fan of Johnny Knoxville or Jackass. Lots of slapstick comedy, lots of physical humor in here, great stunts, many of which Johnny Knoxville I'm sure performed himself and it was totally worth it. Lots of fun, lots of surprises too. Constantly, people constantly getting hurt, falling, hitting their heads, going off the rides. Uh, that brings me to the setup. Story summary for this movie is basically Johnny Knoxville owns an amusement park but it's set in the past that's the catch here the movie takes place in the past in 1979 when the rules were a little more lax back then nowadays theme parks are really strict there's lots of codes lots of lawsuits if anyone gets hurt but back in the day apparently people could have a little bit more fun in comes Johnny Knoxville a theme park owner he owns a little mini theme park that he's run himself and he decides since he's losing money and maybe gonna lose the park he wants to up the ante and make the rides more extreme and even more dangerous but people like it in the movie in the movie world it's a lot of fun the kids enjoy the park and even the people working there have a lot of fun too Johnny Knoxville's the owner and he's surrounded by a pretty good supporting cast a lot of teenagers and younger kids work with him in this movie and they're all a lot of fun to watch one guy who's trying to kick everyone's ass. There's one guy who's like a nerd counting all the numbers. There's kids like working at the park. The kids are smoking all the time. They're drinking. So essentially, Johnny Knoxville is running this park and he runs into another more corporate park and they have a little competition. That's where the most of the drama and the story comes through. And then there's also the heart of the story too, because basically Johnny Knoxville is kind of a deadbeat dad and his daughter comes to visit him for the summer and he has to deal with that and trying to be a good dad while also running this crazy theme park. All in all, Action Point is a good, dirty, raunchy, R-rated comedy. Very racy, very edgy, lots of cursing and um, other cool stuff in there that's a lot of fun for uh, comedy fans like myself. There's a lot of good gags in this movie, lots of stunts like I mentioned before, and um, lots of practical ones. I'm sure they built some of those slides. There's some big, giant slides in there. There's also a bear in this movie. A bear makes an appearance in this picture, and um, he's a lot of fun too. I'm sure they had to use a real bear for most of the parts in there. He's trained really well. They have him drinking beer, following around Johnny Knoxville. There's a couple goofs, a couple gaffs there. That's also a good part of the movie. The other thing I really liked about Action Point was the cool retro vibe. Like I said before, it's set in the past mostly, and, uh, and that's in 1979, so it's still in the 70s, but almost to the 80s. Uh, you got that vibe in there. You could tell by what people are wearing. You could tell by the lax rules. You could tell by the kids that are uh, all drinking and smoking. Um, at one point, they go to a Clash concert, which is also something uh, reminiscent of of the time so it's a cool throwback picture as well that and uh, the heart of the picture, as I mentioned before, uh, Johnny Knoxville and his in-movie daughter, their relationship builds up and has a nice little arc. Uh, I wouldn't say it was perfect. I wouldn't say it was the best uh, theme or story ever, but uh, it was still fun to watch and it brought the whole thing together. Definitely good to have that heart part in there uh, so the whole movie's not just a bunch of people getting their heads hit and there's no point to it. And now that I think about it, now that I say it like that, it's kind of it's kind of a good way to take the whole jackass movie. This is um, Johnny Knoxville, of course, from Jackass fame, that early 90s show or mid 90s show on MTV. And uh, this is a spiritual successor to that. I would say this certainly falls in line. Uh, but what they were able to do with this movie that was cool was they took the Jackass style with stunts and people getting hurt and they worked it into an actual story, into an actual movie. So instead of the typical Jackass movie that kind of just has a bunch of stunts in a row and there's this stunt, there's this jump, there's this and this, all kind of loosely tied together uh, just by the movie. It in this movie, there's a big story. Like I mentioned, there's the theme park, there's the daughter, there's the competition with the corporate theme park. So they kind of tie all this stuff in. And um, I think it puts a nice bow on it. It's nice to see this evolution of Johnny Knoxville from his old jackass days now to further along into this more serious movie days. Now, I wouldn't say this is a serious movie. This isn't any kind of Oscar winning movie, but um, it does have a heart. It does have a good story and it has Johnny Knoxville kind of stretching his acting skills just a little bit, just enough to make the movie better. With all that said, let's go ahead and bring out the hot take meter. 
I would easily give Action Point two and a half flames out of five. Now, I know that's the lowest rating I've ever given, but that doesn't mean the movie's necessarily bad. I just don't think it's for everyone. I think if you're a Jackass fan, if you're a Johnny Knoxville fan like me, I grew up watching some of those shows, you're really going to appreciate this movie and how far that whole system has come. Now, if you're not into that sort of stuff, if you're not into those sorts of slapstick humor, if you're not into injure and um, getting hit on the head kind of comedies, you probably won't like this. You might want to pass. If you're not even interested in Johnny Knoxville, maybe you don't like him, then also pass on this too, of course, because this is held up by Johnny Knoxville and his old jackass style. So I would easily give it a two and a half flames. Not in a bad way, still worth watching, definitely if you're a fan of that stuff, but also not a full three flames, not a great or cool movie, just kind of a mediocre almost. Above mediocre, though. I think it's above average movie and uh, definitely a fun watch. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Hot Take. Next week, we're going to be watching Ocean's 8, the feminized feminist version of Ocean's 11. See you guys next time. Yeah.